what's good? It's your girl back at it again with another video and we're upping the ante this time. My favorite show, well one of my favorite shows is Game of Thrones and for many reasons <laughs> but one of the main reasons that I love that show is the makeup artistry is like beyond my level of comprehension. The special effects makeup is amazing. This look is going to be a White Walker look. It's going to be a little more intensive than my previous special effects makeup video, but when I say intensive, it's just going to be a lot of essentially painting. So you're painting your face. There is going to be a little bit of liquid latex used. The same technique as my previous video. If you haven't watched that, I'll link it down below in the description box. <laughs> uh, but without further ado, let's begin. I do have my makeup already done. <clears throat> I don't necessarily think that it matters for this <laughs> bootleg White Walker <laughs> video, but I will be taking off my eyebrows because it'll just be a lot easier to paint over when I don't have them. <laughs> What a difference brows make, am I right? So, I have a reference photo that I'm going to be looking at, and it's of the Night King. If you're in the Game of Thrones scene, you know who the Night King is. I'm looking at his particular um, special effects makeup as a guide. So I have the ripped up sheets of paper towel from my previous special effects makeup video that I did. And I'm just going to take some liquid latex. Once again, the brand that I'm using is Mayron. I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> but if they want to sponsor me, please hit me up in my business email. <laughs> and I'm using the Mayron Face Paint Palette. Um, it's really grubby looking, <laughs> but the colors in here are really great for mixing. Although, I do have a separate bigger pan of the white face paint because there is going to be a lot of that used in this particular look. Now, I'm going to start off by taking the paper towels and referencing the photo, I'm going to put this one right here and then this one right here. You can even make them a little bit thinner, which actually I think I might do, but this is just going to create that bit of texture that I'm looking for at the sides of the mouth. Placing that where I think I want it to go and putting it on. This doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look perfect or anything. This is... <coughs> ugh, I just inhaled it. Ugh, gross. <coughs> I keep doing it. <laughs> this is purely for texture purposes. For this look, I would highly recommend if you're going to be wearing some sort of a wig to do that before you do the makeup. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it'll get in the hair if you're using liquid latex. And that can be a little bit uncomfortable. So, don your wigs. <laughs> so now that I've got my placement down, I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in a little tub full of water. You want to make sure that when you're using liquid latex, you wash your paintbrush. I mean, if you don't care about it, you don't have to do this, but um, washing your paintbrush off immediately is going to prevent that liquid latex from sticking to the bristles. All right, so the liquid latex has dried down, and we're going to get started on painting the face. So I'm going to be starting off with a base of white, and I'm going to put that all over. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of blue to create this sort of blue-gray dead look <laughs> that we're trying to go for. Fuck, I look like a smurf. This is what I was going for! There we go, that's better. When in doubt, add more white. <laughs> Although this blue almost looks like it has some green in it, so I'm going to add some green too. It's like green, maybe a bit of black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, 
Once you've got the base down, I figured out that the color combination that's best to use is blue, green, black, and white, and mix that all together. Um, and then add a little more white to lighten things up. But this is what it looks like after that layer of paint. It doesn't have to be perfect because there's going to be a lot of shading and detail work that we're going to add that's going to make it look <laughs> not like a smurf or the moon emoji. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom in and we're going to get started on that work right now. I'm going to start with the uh, little bits right here that the Night King has, these weird lines. And for that, I'm going to take the black just by itself. And it looks like he has one, two, three, four. The under eye, you can also just go in with a black face paint and start painting over the entire eye. Maybe mix in a little bit of white so that it's like a gray. Because he has like pretty much completely black rimmed eyes. You might also want to use a bigger paintbrush than this, but whatever. And so essentially, just drawing a lot more lines on the face in certain areas, like on the chin. This face paint will also kind of dry on the lips and emphasize the lines, so definitely exaggerating that will add to the look. Everything that we're adding on is going to be purposeful, because wherever there's shading, there will also be highlighting to bring out that appearance and since you know in Game of Thrones they're not doing this <laughs> they're not just using face paint and making it look like that end result they have prosthetics they have that face cast that they do and add the detail in there of course but you know like I'm not a professional special effects makeup artist I'm using what I have so this is just like the um, do-it-yourself version And using your finger is a really great tool too, to just add some texture, some shading, making it look kind of splotchy. This is a creepy look, like the night, the White Walkers and the Night King are fucking creepy. And uh, you know, just doing whatever you can to emphasize that. So now I'm cleaning off my paintbrush and making sure I get it really, really clean because we're going to go into the white color. Now wherever I've put down a line, I'm going to take that white and I'm going to draw directly next to it. The whole point of putting the white down is going to give the illusion of a raised surface. The same way in regular makeup when we put highlighter on, it's to make it look like, you know, you've got higher cheekbones or higher nose bridge. This is the same sort of idea here. This part is going to be the most time consuming, so take your time, you know, blending with the fingers really helps.
now I'm just mixing in black and white and adding more shading in certain areas. Kind of messily putting it on and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Just from this particular picture that I'm looking at, which I'll put on the screen, there's just like a lot of random shading. And then his eyes kind of come to a point here. So I'm extending that shading on the inner corner of the eye out up towards the bridge of the nose and then adding a bit of detail on the nose as well. Although his nose, there isn't that much going on there. It's just like <laughs> lumpy, but we are going to emphasize the nostril a little bit and put those very same lines. For this look, you can just go with the guideline of looking like you've got some cracked, cracked ice for skin. I mean, it makes sense, right? White Walker, Winter, like I'm pretty sure that's their whole MO. So just going by that same general guideline. And I'm putting some black face paint over that um, liquid latex paper towel too, just to really enhance that texture. Also adding in some areas of white face paint and gently blending those out because there are some more highlighted bits too. And now adding some general lines, general like little pockets of shadow, of detail. Just add as much detail as you possibly can. Um, if you're working on a time crunch, you know, do the most important things for you and your look. But if you really have the time and you're getting ready for like a Halloween party, then work on the detail. Just adding lines, adding highlight, adding shadow. I'm putting on some black face paints with my finger and really messily applying it because, I mean, yes, he has lips, but also he doesn't. So I'm just going to sort of smudge that out a little bit. And then really concentrating a lot of black on the very center towards like the inside of the lip. I have some pretty bodacious lips for a White Walker, but you can definitely <laughs> make them smaller, make them non-existent, do whatever you want. I'm also working with a really thick brush. I'd recommend you not do that and work with a finer point brush. That'll just make detail work a hell of a lot easier. But um... I just didn't really feel like grabbing a smaller brush. I'm going to now take a black pencil eyeliner and just put some of that on my waterline. I don't have the contact lenses that the White Walkers have, those like bright blue ones. So just to make my eyes not so fleshy. I'm going to take some highlighter now. This step is optional, but I'm just going to place this because it has a, that obvious little bit of shimmer. I'm going to put it a little bit on the highest point of the cheekbone right here and then a little bit onto the bridge of the nose as well. It's a little bit of shimmer so that when the face turns it'll catch that light. <laughs> Okay, so I did a really bad thing with my wig and I decided I would cut it because the bangs were too long and now I have Lord Farquaad bangs. So <laughs> my White Walker queen is um, a little bit edgy, <laughs> but this is the finished look and it is very detail intensive. This is going to take a lot longer 
to do, but I think the end result is so worth it. It is such a cool and really creepy looking Halloween makeup. And you can add these little details if you'd like. I'm going as an undead Daenerys Targaryen. That's just my look, but you can <laughs> go with or without these little extra details. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.